The text is Second Kings chapter 7. My reading should be the first 11 verses. But I will take you to verses 3 through to verse 8. Second Kings chapter 7, 3 to 8. We find these words. And there were four leprous men at the entering in of the gate, and they said one to another, Why sit we here until we die? If we say we will enter into the city, the famine is in the city, and we shall die there. And if we sit still here, we die also. Now therefore come and let us fall unto the host of the Syrians. If they save us alive, we shall live. And if they kill us, we shall but die. And they rose up in the twilight and go unto the camp of the Syrians. And when they were come to the utmost part of the camp of Syria, behold, there was no man there. For the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear a noise of chariots and a noise of horses, even the noise of a great horse. And they said one to another, Lo, the king of Israel hath hired against us the kings of the Ittites and the kings of the Egyptians to come upon us. Wherefore they arose and fled in the twilight and left their tents and their horses and their asses, even the camp as it was. And they fled for their life. When the lepers came to the utmost part of the camp, they went into one tent and did eat and drink, carried then silver and gold and raiment and went and ate it and came again and entered into another tent and did the same thing there. Somebody praise God. Lord, we just thank you for the manifestation of your power and your presence in the midst of your people. Your servant prayed that the anointing would rest upon us so as the word of God is proclaimed. It shall minister to all of our needs. Lord, hear us as we look to you and ask for your blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Be seated in this audience. I want to challenge your hearts today on this theme. There is no step like the step of faith. Tell your neighbor, there is no step like the step of faith. Oh, praise God. Jesus. There is no step. And believe me, there are many, many steps that have been taken by all of us time and time again. And we would consider some to be some very adventurous steps. We would consider some to be some steps that have led us into realizing our dreams or aspirations for life. But I come to take us beyond the realm of the natural into that of the supernatural. And to let us know that there is another step that God wants us to take. And that is the step of faith. Oh, praise God. Many persons in time have made some bold steps. And they have been taken by persons of notoriety. Poor persons whom we look upon and acknowledge. Persons of great significance. Persons of influence. And when we see them take those steps, sometimes 
it caused some of us to pale into oblivion as it were because we do not think that we are qualified to take those kind of steps but I want to let you know that you are even more qualified than some of those persons to take the greatest step in life and that is the step of faith can you say amen hallelujah in national life if we look at our national eras if we take a critical look at them we would find among them persons persons of class persons of status persons of nobility persons whom the nation honors with its highest honor that of national hero because they believe that those persons have done things, have taken bold and decisive steps. They were initiators on many, many, many frontiers. And so the nation say, we honor you with the highest honor, that of national hero. How many among us today hope to be honored as a national hero? in this nation anybody well at least we have three persons wonderful I'm not quite sure the feat that you will achieve or accomplish that will take you there but I do hope that you will achieve your heart's desire to become a national hero are you with me everybody hallelujah Having earned that prestige honor in the nation, they are seen as persons to whom we pay great homage in different ways. But brothers and sisters, each one of us today in our own rights, as insignificant as we might consider ourselves to be, as we might consider ourselves to be God is saying to us today there is a step that you can take that will cause our national heroes and heroin to look like nobody to look like they have not accomplished anything are you with me and that is the step of faith how many have ever taken steps of faith let me see your hand well, thank God, the same number of you still do not know what we're talking about. Steps of faith, my brothers and sisters, they come about when you move beyond the five senses and move into the sixth dimension of your sense, and that is the faith sense. It takes us beyond the natural into the supernatural. It takes us into places, territories where naturally you would not dare to venture in. Faith will take you where angels fear to tread. Faith will let you do things, amen, that no institution on earth could prescribe the order, the methodology to doing those things. Faith will find a way where there is no way oh praise God faith will cause you to believe the impossible faith will let you see the invisible faith will tell you you can feel the intangible for with God nothing I, I, I want to take you somewhere because if we do not exercise this measure this dimension of faith in this age and time we are going to be left behind come on somebody the very fact that we are not among them who are going to fight for scarce benefits and spoils 
we are going to look to God who is the author and the finisher of our faith, then we have got to develop the kind of faith that will produce the kind of miracle that we need to survive in this age and in this time. Somebody wave your hand and shout the highest praise. Shout it again, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. We want to realize that firstly, that is where we begin to please God. Because the Bible says in Hebrew chapter 11 and verse 6, But without faith, it is impossible to please God. For they that cometh to God must believe that God is and that God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. It tells me, my brothers and sisters, that as long as God is on the throne, and as long as I abide in Him, and His words abide in me, do not tell me that I will not succeed in life. I will succeed! My God, but where, where are the faith people here today? Where are those who are getting ready to defy every heart, to defy every economic odds, to defy every heart that come against us and tell the devil, watch and see devil. I'm going to tell you and show you that I'm not the tail but I'm the head. And I'm not beneath, I'm above. And even though I might have to borrow some times ago, I'm getting ready to lend because the God whom I serve is going to make a way for me. Do I have anybody in my audience today who know that there is always a way with God? Somebody shout and praise the King of Heaven. Hallelujah! Don't you ever go around just looking at impossibilities and impossibilities. Search for some possibilities. Don't just go around looking at doors that are closed and you are shut out on the outside. Look for some doors. Tell yourself there got to be some open door somewhere. Every door can't just close. I got to find me an open door that will take me into what God wants me to have and to be what God wants me to be. This is more than a show. This is action. Oh God Almighty. Somebody better praise God here. I said this is more than a shout. This is more than speaking in tongues. This is more than having a good time. This is more than saying hallelujah, thank you Jesus. This is more than coming to church Sunday to Sunday, Friday to Saturday. It, it is more than that. It is looking difficulties in the eye. So there's a God. That's what we are going to bring out of the text. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because four men who should have sat down and wait for the bell to toll over them. Dun, dun, dun. The four men say, hey, no bell going to toll over us. Come on, somebody. You will not hear a bell toll on grave diggers digging grave. You are going to see shouters begin to shout. You are, oh God Almighty, because God is going to do something. Am I talking to somebody here? They said there is no step like the step of faith. It might have not never been taken by anyone before. There's no precedent to it, but somebody got to be the innovator. Somebody got to be the initiator. Somebody got to find a way. Somebody found a way. Come on, somebody. To bring us electricity in our house. 
to bring us television in our homes, to bring us all kinds of things in our homes. Somebody have got to find a way that when circumstances cage you in, and the natural law said this is out. Somebody got to find a way to come up victorious out of that situation. It is not only the, the, by which we please God. But according to Hebrews chapter 11 and 2. It is by faith that the elders obtain a good report. Oh you are not with me. When the believers accept the word of God and go put the word into practice, then God will begin to perform miracles and they will begin to testify. People will be blessed. The church will be blessed. And people will know that there is a God who performs miracles. You know how long... Oh, Lord, help me here. There's a member of this church who sat home for years, ain't doing nothing, and have an ability that God gave to her. Pastor, I disobeyed God so many times because of unbelief. But this time, God sent her a word. God spoke to her. I said, now for you it is do or die. If you are going to come out of that financial rut that you are in, ain't nobody going to take you out. God said to her, you going to take yourself out of it. And God spoke to her to put herself in order to do certain things. She came to me, she discussed it with me. She said, Pastor, I want two letters from you to go to certain places. And my God, I gave her the letter and she came back to me a couple of days ago. She said, Lord Jesus, Pastor, you can't believe it. Every door who open. When I presented the letter to the Chinese man, the Chinese man said, you ready to start now? She said, no, I can't start now. Give me a few days. God just birthed a business idea in her. And she's setting to become an entrepreneur within this community. Woman of age. But God showed her that there is a way out of your situation. Why sit we here until we die? Touch your neighbor and tell them it's time to take a step of faith. Hallelujah. 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 The apostles realized the importance of much faith. And they said unto the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, increase our faith. Luke chapter 17 and verse 5. You know why they said that? Because Jesus had said to them, For I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, Remove ends to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible with you somebody wave your hands and praise God hallelujah nothing shall be impossible with you Matthew chapter 17 and verse 20 we have been encountering too many impossibilities talk to me somebody stop at this stop at that stop at that can't move and the scripture tells us that the word of faith is in our mouth. And if we speak it, God will honor it. And if, if we put faith into action, because faith without works is dead. Talk to me, somebody. Many persons who, of whom we read in the scriptures, they have had to step out Sometimes of something into nothing in order to get the fullness of God. Come on somebody. Let me share a little testimony with, well I think I shared some of these before. But listen, 
Some years ago, in my own personal life, when things were not going as I thought they should, I had many persons made offers to me concerning ministry. And when I speak, I can call names so people can check it out. Some people tell lies. Lies don't profit you nothing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I can call names. I've had some established churches and bishops and overseers who have offered me positions in their organization. I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do the other. The last thing one overseer offered me is a three-bedroom house and a car if I would but serve his organization. He offered me that. Prayed. Didn't find God. I could tell you the name so you could check it out. Jamaica Bible Church, the late overseer S.B. Downey. Ask any one of his pastors today. He said, I'll buy you a three-bedroom house. I'll buy you a car. Them days I didn't have a car. I didn't have a house. Some of you don't understand. Talk to me here, somebody. Hallelujah. Bishop Earl Blair at 104 tells me, I'll give you my church in South Lamar. I would not even come there except unless you invite me. Ask him behind me before me. Bishop Stewart in New York said, if there's one man I must get in, in New York is you. Dr. Hyatt in Florida said, just tell me when you want to come. Bishop Smith in London said, are you ready? I called the names. Had nothing, stood with nothing but faith in my heart. I could call more names. I could call more names. The Holy Ghost said to me, stand still. You got faith in your heart. You have a God who is on your side. He has something in store for you. Don't take second best when God wants to give you the real stuff. Am I preaching to anybody here? I could have stepped out in the natural because I needed the breakthrough. As I understand it, let God say, hold your ground, hold your ground. If you suffer with me, you shall reign with me. If you go to the fire, I'll bring you out. I hope I'm helping somebody here today. Don't let the devil glitter everything before your eyes and everything he shows you, you want to run and catch it. Not everything that glitter is gold. A second best until you hear from God. Hold your ground. Uh, some of you not getting this. You're not getting this. Come, 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 come on, somebody. I said until you hear from the Holy Ghost, be still. Woo! I said, God, I don't understand all of this, but I'm going to see what you have in store. And I don't have to tell you what God had in the darkness of divine hiding. I don't have to tell you. I don't have to tell you if you have eyes and ears, you could see and you could hear that God had something greater and better than anybody could offer. Sometimes you've got to say no to some things. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You must know when God opened the door. You must know what is an opportunity given by God and when the enemy is trying to trick you into or out of God's best. Oh, you're not following me here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Abraham had his one son. God says, I need you to take a step that you have never taken before. God had said to him in Genesis 12, get up and move out. And now God said to him in Genesis 22, offer your one son unto me. Abraham looked on the boy with everything in place to kill him and said, God will provide. Come on, somebody. Touch your neighbor and tell them you serve Jehovah Jireh. He is a provider. Come on, somebody. Abraham said that when he saw nothing. He never knew where it was coming from. 
But he says, God will provide as long as night follows day. God will provide. I have never seen the righteous forsaken. Now receive gold breaking bread. Somebody wave your hands and praise the King of Heaven today. There is no step like the step of faith. Because Abraham decided to trust God. Amen. The, mo- the time, as soon as the time came for God to make the provision, God said, Look. When he saw what was in the darkness of divine hiding, you must walk by faith. Do not blight the prospect of your tomorrow because of what today's situation is like. Rain do not fall all day. And even if it falls all day, it won't stop some time to come. Am I preaching to anybody here? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Caleb at 85 years old said to Moses, he said, I need the mountain that God gave me. Joshua, give it to me. Caleb said, I know I'm 85 years old. I know giants are out there, but I can handle them. I'm going to take a step of faith in the territory of the Amalekites. I'm going to put them out. I know the sons of Hanak are there. Some of you are fearful of giants. You're fearful of giants that's in the land. Some of you are doing a little business out there and you're afraid of people who sprinkling salt and sprinkling powder and doing this and doing that. Fret not yourself because of evildoers. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When them sprinkle the salt and sprinkle whatever they sprinkle, you sprinkle the 23rd Psalm. You sprinkle Psalm 91. You sprinkle the 37th Psalm. You sprinkle Isaiah 54. And let's say who is going to be the winner. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Don't run anybody. Run. Make the hypocrite run. Make the sinner run. Make the hope your worker run. You are not supposed to. Oh! Take the step of faith. You pack up your goods and lock them up at your house. You pack them up and say, for peace sake, for peace sake. Only this is not peace, this is war. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. So this is not for peace sake. Don't pack up and think you're going to get peace. The more you pack up is the more war you get. Get into the heat of the battle and fight and win. What kind of peace sake? The wicked is like a troubled sea. They'll never be at peace. For peace sake. Lord, am I preaching to anybody? So for peace sake, you leave everything and give them. And while they're selling and making money and doing business, you who I'm saying, Jesus, 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 go out in the name of the eternal God and take the war by force. There is no step like the step of faith. Mm. It makes things happen. Talk to me, somebody. Do I have any witness in this house today who know that the step of faith is powerful? Jesus. Jonathan said to his men, Let's go over to the garrison of the Philistines. Although we are few, we are going over. Because the God whom I serve, he can deliver by few as he delivers by many. Oh, you're not with me here. Because he did say one shall chase 
A thousand. And if I get two of you believers in agreement, you can chase ten thousand. Come on, praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. David said, The God who delivered me from the lion and from the bear, the same God will deliver me. 1 Samuel 17 and 37, the same God will deliver me out of the hand of this uncircumcised Philistines. Do I have anybody here who have had some deliverance from the God of Israel? Do you know that he is just the same today as he walked by Galilee? Set the suffering captive free. He is just the same today. While other people are make no, no, don't misunderstand. This is a dangerous statement, but don't do not misunderstand me. While other people are making plans how to live here and live the best they can. Some of us, all we are doing is only making plans to live in heaven. I did say do not misunderstand me. We have got to make both plans. Now the wiser Christians are making both plans. But I realize that some Christians are only making one plan. One side of the plan. Oh, when we all get to him and while you're singing that JP is coming to cut off your light and your children can't get a little fridge water and they can't have light to study to go to school I can I preach to somebody here while you're singing that the mortgage company turning your, your, your house over into the earth the auctioneers are the collectors huh do not just make plan to go to heaven. Before we go there, we have to live here. And thy will must be done in earth as it is in heaven. His will is that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prosper. Nothing is wrong to be prosperous. Nothing is wrong to have more than you need. Because that's how you're going to help somebody. Those who are your employers today, what if they only had to supply their needs? Could they be an employer? Oh, you're not talking to me here. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Dear God. Mm. Somebody got to go beyond the realm of the natural and say, God, you said it, I believe it. Come on, praise God. You try to get this message in some people's spirit, but I cannot capture it as yet. They still have a mentality saying, God wants me to suffer lack and want and privation when you cannot substantiate it in the scripture. Even if we go through, it's a phase, it's a passing through for a time. Somebody praise God. Jehoshaphat said, we can't handle this crowd and company that's coming against us. But we're going to take a step of faith. We're going to look to you. Touch your neighbor and tell them there should be no point of giving up. That's it. There should be no point of giving up. He said, Lord, me done. Mm-hmm. You know some people behave like that. If you talk to them, they, behave, they talk like that. If you are part of their company, they almost want to pull you down. That's why you've got to be careful who you talk with, who you associate with. If you walk with the wise on the evening, if you are not wise, you'll be counted. And when you are counted as a wise, you will be trusted. Oh God, help me in this church here. Amen. If you walk with the fools, if you, if you are no fools, 
fool you'll be counted for the whole saying is show me your company oh God of heaven talk to me here somebody I want to hang around people of faith I want to hang around those who, who, who will say to me it can work it looks difficult but let's give it a try the four leprous men says if we sit here we're gonna die if we go over there we might die also but that's where the action is that's where life is that's where food is that's where prosperity is come on somebody although the Assyrians are our enemies we are going to take a step of faith. Somebody help me here. Jesus, when you move out, God will move in. The four weak condemned men moved out and God moved in with a host of angels flapping their wings and trampling the place and the Assyrian army heard it and they said to themselves the king of Israel have hired some armies to come against us God know how to confuse the devil when you take a step of faith one of the problem is that we try to work all things with our natural man too much well I don't know how it's going to work it has never happened before. Well, all the reason to give God a chance to show you it can happen. Or you're not with me. The moment they moved out by faith, God moved in. And confounded the camp of the Assyrians. And all they could have conceived in their minds is that the kings of Israel of our, the kings of the Egyptians and the kings of the Hittites, they are coming against us and we can't handle them. You know who were coming? Four leprous men. But God was before them. Oh, somebody help me praise God here. When God told me some years ago to go into Supreme Court to deliver a young man charged with all kinds of stuff, they said there were others who were charged with him. His lawyer told him there's no way this can work. This is past gone the limits. The judge looked at him and said, do you think you are going to do so and so and so and make people's lives miserable? And then you come out of here and go out free. It never happened. But the same judge looked at him and said, go in peace. <laughs> the same judge what if anybody getting this here today the same judge who said to the young man do you think you are going to live such a ruthless life and make people's life miserable and all kinds of stuff and then walk out of here free as you he said no way you can't happen but after God the Holy Ghost stepped in the same judge used the same lips and said, go love your pastor. Go serve your God. For if the Holy Ghost did not come here today, you would not see out here for a long time. Don't tell me that the step of faith can't make things work. The step of faith can break down barrier. The step of faith can turn things around. The step of faith can give you a miracle. The step of faith can open closed doors. Wave your hand, wave your hand. Wave your hand. Some of you got to take a step of faith for your healing. Oh, yes. We're just living on all kinds of pill, black pill, yellow pill, pink pill, big pill, small pill. God of heaven, 
The house is almost like a pharmacy now. And you're still not getting better. It's time. You say like the woman in Mark 5. I have tried everything. Hear about Jesus. Purpose something in your heart. And work at it. Purpose something in your heart. According to the word of God. And work at it by faith. Come on somebody. See your dream afar off. And every day you pull it nearer and nearer to you. In the spirit by faith. And work at it. Am I preaching good brother Simon? No good faith messages man. Alright. You got to see it. Talk to me here, somebody. Hallelujah. Now don't let other people who put faith into action and get results. And then when you see it, you say, Why am I discouraged now? A long time me in a church. Nothing now going on for me. Might be because you have not been applying faith to the Word of God. And put it into action. Are you still with me there? Hallelujah. Job said, what do you see of me? Let me tell you what you see. Job said, yes, you see a, a torn, battered, bruised, naked skin and bone in the ash. That's what you see. But Job said, let me tell you what I see. All my appointed time. There's a change that's coming. In my flesh I shall see God. What you see is corruption and worm and ashes and all that. Job said, in my flesh. Oh God, nobody not coming with me here. I shall see God. Whom I shall be all for myself. Man, I shall see him. Not another. Mm. Let people see what they want to see of you, honey. But do not let their perception cause you to see yourself as they have perceived you. Oh, talk to me here. Talk to me here. Somebody shout and praise God here. Job said, I'm coming out of this. I'm going to practice the steps of faith. Talk to me, somebody. He said, if I lose my wife, I can't afford to lose my faith. If I lose my children, I can't afford to lose my faith. If I lose all my life's possession, if I lose my skin, and wind up with bones in the ashes, I still cannot afford to lose my faith. Because faith is a victory. That overcomes the world. Oh, would to God somebody would praise him here. Some of you are losing your faith. Because circumstances tear you in the face. And the devil tells you you can't make it. Don't you lose your faith. Mm. Oh, somebody shout and praise God. Shout hallelujah. Don't lose faith in your business. Don't lose faith in your marriage. Don't lose faith in your health. Don't lose faith in your church. Don't lose faith in your pastor. Don't lose faith in your brethren. Don't lose faith in your country. Let's work at them. Everything, leave me with my faith in God. Come, oh God of heaven. Somebody help me here. Help me, help me, help me. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I had faith enough. 20 years ago to tell God 
when he spoke to me in New York City to return and preach, let me wind up, my goodness. I said, God, if you give me a tent, I will return. And God gave me a tent from somewhere I've never even been. From someone I've never even never met. Just met him about three years ago. Are you with me, somebody? Package me tent and some chairs and light bulbs and cards and everything and ship to Jamaica. Did not know whether it's a tall man, short man, white man, black man, pretty man, ugly man. Never knew nothing but faith. Faith. And the tent God gave me to st start this ministry was already committed to India. It was already committed to be sent to India. But the reverend gentleman said to me, I don't know if you pray, maybe the committee will change the mind. We prayed and God said, turn it around. Called me back a week later and said, Pastor, they have decided not to send it to India again, but to send it to you in Jamaica. I believe they knew the people in India. They don't know me. But faith made the connection. There is no step like the step of faith. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It caused the Red Sea to be divided. It caused a giant Jordan River to dry up. It caused high and hawk's head to swim on top of water. Talk to me here, somebody. It caused hungry lions to freeze and could not eat meat. Although they were hungry. It caused a furnace, maybe 8,000 degrees Fahrenheit hot to be here conditioned and could not burn the men. Faith, there is no step. Oh, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. <laughs> Hallelujah! Let me close. So say all of those men to whom I have referred about their faith. What do you say about your faith? How has it been working for you? In what department of life has it worked wonders? And in what department of life is it lacking? You're not getting the kinds of results that you ought to get in certain departments of life. Is it that you have not channeled sufficient faith in that area of life? Is it that you have not coupled that faith with action in that department of life? All those who have done so, the record of the scripture shows that they came out on the winning side. How many get ready to win some battles, Monsieur? The poor leprous man says, There is no precedence to this. It has never been done before. Every other leper had to walk around ringing the bells, confined to a camp. But these four leprous men said to themselves, we are going to change something. Are oh, you not with me? Martin Luther King Jr. set out to change some things. And he realized a lot of them and they are still being realized. Are you with me somebody? Hallelujah. Somebody got to be initiator. Leprous men said, no. We're going to take it by force. By force, where do you get force from? You can't even stand up barely. Force, weak, weak on the outside. The outer man perish, but there is something that comes from within. Oh, you're not with me here. Mm. Not even the army of the Assyrians can compete with this. 
because God goes ahead of this. Talk to me, somebody. Jesus. Moses said, God, you want me to go down there? Oh, no problem, I'll go. But, but one thing I want you to know. If you're sending me alone, do not send me. But as long as you are going to go with me, Jesus. Minister Brian saying, be with me, Jesus. If God's going to go with you in the courtroom, go there with confidence. If God's going to go with you in the hospital room on the operating, operating theater, go with confidence. Oh, you're not with me. If God is going to go with you on the business deal, go with confidence. If God is going to be with you in the midst of that rough family situation, hang in there with confidence. Because there is no step like the step of faith. They moved out and God moved in. Somebody need to take a bold step today. I don't mean a physical. Mm, mm. You've been taking a whole lot of that. Some of you have been stepping in the wrong direction with this. Mm, mm. Want something from inside of you first of all to say to you, I am going to win, I'm going to achieve. And then when you say that, you begin to put some things together. I'm going to get a job. So you don't sleep until 10, 11 o'clock tomorrow. Get up and you put yourself together and said, I'm going for the job. Oh, you're not with me. Stand with me, stand with me, stand with me. You believe it in you. You put some action to it. Give feet to your faith. Touch your neighbor and tell them, give feet to your faith. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of you need to take a step of faith for your healing, for your deliverance, for your blessing, for your open door. You need to take a step of faith for your family deliverance. You need to take a step of faith to achieve the things that God wants you to achieve in this life. If you do not want to achieve nothing, no problem. No problem. But when you find those who want to achieve something, do not discourage their faith. Come on, talk to me here, somebody. L let me stop. But listen to this. The Holy Spirit wants me to say this. I believe if those four leprous men had discussed it, with the strong people around them. They will say, oh no, you, poor you. Are you not with me? If they had shared their hearts, their intentions with some strong, healthy people around them. They would say to them, as Saul said to David, you cannot take on Goliath. He's a man of war from his youth. And you are but a youth. Oh God, where, where is the church, my God? Some things you should not share. If you want to share them with anyone, share them with your spiritual leaders. Come on, somebody. There's a member here who, who could have a house over her head today. But you talk to the wrong person. Talk to the wrong person and wind up losing the house. She came to me when it was lit. I said, dear God, why didn't you talk to me before you talk to them daughters? Talk to me here, sir. oh God Almighty. Oh, somebody's fate is alive. I feel God. I didn't call you, but you came. 
something is stirred within you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. They did not share it with anybody. They simply moved by faith. Telling themselves there is no step like the step of faith. And I'm going to take it in the name of God. And this is not being reckless. This is not being cavalier. This is not being careless. This is believing God and acting upon His Word. Everybody, close your eyes. You've got, you got to resolve some things within you. I have to resolve some things. I have to time and time again. You got to settle some accounts. You got to settle them in your own hearts. I told her earlier, this is more than coming to church. It's more than singing. It's more than having a good time. It's more than them stuff. It is putting your faith into action. And say like Abraham, I don't know where I'm going, but God tell me to go and he will lead me into the right path. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to get it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I want all of us to repent right now. Repent of every doubt and unbelief. Come on. Repent of every doubt and unbelief and fear. Repent of them. Tell God you're sorry. Repent. Repent of them. Because some of us could be better off today in many ways. Spiritually and otherwise. Repent. Repent right now. Everybody repent. Tell God you're sorry for doubting Him. You're sorry that you missed out. And did not move when you should have. There's not seized opportunity when He opened the door. And you knew it was God. Let's repent, everybody. Repent. Repent, and then we are going to move into impregnation. Clean up the womb. Yes. Clean up the womb right now. Clean up the womb. Some bad cell in there. Clean it up. Clean up the womb. A good seed is coming. Somebody going to be impregnated. Clean up your spirit. Clean it up of doubt and fear. Confess them. Renounce them in the name of Jesus. Throw them out. Reject them. My God of heaven. Reject them, reject them, reject them. They're coming with a brand new seed. Oh God of heaven. Mm. Black tube, clean the black tube. Spiritually speaking, clean it, clean it, clean it. You can't get pregnant, so clean it. Clean it out. You need to be spiritually impregnated right now. Hey, you do my send or I set here. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost upon me. Somebody's about to get their breakthrough. Reno Kemoranda Seteo. Hey, Amaru Sata Baba Hosetia. Brani Kemosa. Jesus, 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 Oh! Oh, yellow Samahu. Somebody's getting a brand new revelation. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, sister, in the name of Jesus, my God Almighty. Oh, flush out our entire system, Jesus, and heal her beyond medical science. Heal her. Raise her up. In 
the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Give your people faith enough to believe you and to step out and step in. Oh, enough faith to believe you, God. Yes, 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 yes. Scale the utmost time. Catch a gleam. Hoy, hoy, hoy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I take authority over every seed of doubt, every fear, every intimidation. I rebuke them in the name of Jesus. You lying devil, you have whispered long enough your doubts and your unbelief in the minds of God's people. And you have held us back in the name of Jesus. We renounce you, we denounce you, we trample you. Today is a day of good tidings. We shall arise above your intimidation. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God Almighty. We forget deliverance here today. God of heaven, demons are being cast out. The spirit of doubt and fear. Amen. The spirit, the spirit that held you down. We break them in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. One of you mothers, come and work with this lady. My God, look at what the Holy Ghost is doing here. Look at what's coming out of this woman. Look at what's coming out of her. Look at what's coming out of her. That's deliverance, my God of heaven. Glory to God. Lift up your hands, everybody, and begin to, begin to, begin to, begin to call on King Emmanuel. Come on, come on, right now. Impregnate your spirit with faith. Impregnate your spirit. Impregnate your spirit. Faith in Jesus' name. Faith in Jesus' name. Oh God Almighty, in the name, 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 in the name of Jesus, 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 arise and conquer your territory, take your possession, take what is yours, take your mountain, take your mountain, take your health, take your wealth, take your family, take your blessing. Take your job, take your ministry, 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 take it, take your ministry, 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 in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. My God, my God, my God. Somebody go ahead. Somebody go ahead. The Holy Ghost is working. Yes! Oh! My Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord! Don't sit there and die. Don't sit there and die. Don't sit there and die.